welcome back. I'm Chloe if you're new here and I'm gonna be straight honest with you guys. I thought I was gonna stop making these bullet journal videos but since I thought about not doing them anymore I've received so many messages and comments about how they inspired you to start a bullet journal and how much you love them so I thought okay I'm going to do it again and I'm going to keep up with it. So here is my bullet journal setup for the month of July and if you're ready, let's plan it together. So in the first page I have my overview of the month. This hasn't changed drastically. I still, you know, plan the whole day ahead and write the most important events each day of the month and then on the right side I have my next month section where I like to write the events that are happening in the next month so this one is going to be in August then people to contact or people I want to email people I haven't seen in a long time and I want to see again um, just so that I can keep up with some of my friendships and relationships. And then finally a to-do list, so if there is anything specific that I need to not forget to do the following month, I'll put it here. On the next page I have my goals page and it worked really great for me in June to have my personal goals and business work related goals and I've actually fulfilled pretty much all of them all my work goals were fulfilled and then my personal goals were kind of like halfway but you know I definitely did an effort in that sense and um, yeah I was really happy with how it worked for me and I also I think the main reason why it was also because I didn't have too many goals I had short lists so that was really good and I think what I'm gonna do at the end of the month is that I'll keep the bottom section here to write a little bit about how it went on the things that I didn't actually accomplish you know why is that that it didn't work out and what can I do better and then on the next page I have my habit tracker and on there I write down every day of the month and then I have all my habits listed on the side and I added the social media no social media habit to my tracker I want to stay away from social media more so I think what I will do is that I'll set up specific times of the day on when I'm going on social media and when I'm not and I also added the no spending habit. Uh, I think I'm pretty good with that. I don't really spend a lot of money on things. And the only expense that I have every month, I mean, it's not the only one, but the main expense I have every month is my groceries, which cost me maybe around 200 um, euros a month. I actually made a weekly grocery haul on my French channel, so I will link it down below if you want to check it out. On the next page, I have my work page where I write all the collaborations that are planned for the month as well as what I have due when and what is the type of collaboration that we have and also how much I'm paid for it so that I can keep track a bit of what my salary is going to be at the end of the month. I think it's a really good thing for me so that I can track a little bit and have an idea of how much money I'm going to make to see if I have to do something else for more work or if actually it's enough and you know I don't really need to do more if I don't want to. And then on the right side I have my budget and as I always I have my expenses and my income and um, it's been working really good for me I think that now that I'm starting to work as a freelancer and working on some contracts and with clients it's really good for me that I keep track of what money's coming in and what money's go going out so that I can sort of have an idea of whether or not I'm uh, financially independent yet or if I could be on the next page I have all of my YouTube pages so my video ideas page where I write all the video ideas 
for my English channel as well as my French channel. So this could be either ideas I've seen online or things that I personally want to do or ideas that you guys have requested, things that you guys want me to do which obviously I want to do as well. A lot of the things you request are things I'm deeply interested in as well. I wouldn't do something just because you asked me. But yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions or video ideas, uh, video requests, um, I'll put them here. And then on the right side, I have my video planner and there I can organize all of my uploads for the month both on my English and French channel and see a bit what is going to be uploaded when and when should I start on working on which video first. Um, I really like to have that overview so it helps me keep track of you know what videos I'm working on during the month and how I should organize myself depending on the type of videos I'm filming. I also have that on my Google Calendar, uh, so if you're interested I could make a video about how I organize my week on Google Calendar. I, I like to have both right now, I still use the bullet journal quite a bit and I don't want to just use Google Calendar but for certain things it is definitely useful. And finally I have my weekly log which has changed a little. I used to have it vertically last month and I decided to go back to horizontal. I just feel like every day is just more separate and I have a better overview of the whole week. I don't know, it just feels more natural to me. And since there's seven days in the week, there was like eight little sections, I decided the first top one was going to be a to-do list for the week. So maybe there I could write all the tasks, main most important tasks that I want to get accomplished by the end of the week. And then I'll just separate it within the days that I have. And yeah, on there I also write daily events, small tasks, smaller tasks that I might not write down in the to-do list. I'm really happy about how it came out. I'm really excited to start uh, planning in this and I hope you guys enjoyed this setup because that's it for today and if you recreate it make sure you tap me on Instagram and also make sure you let me know in the comments or like this video if you want me to keep up doing these monthly bullet journal videos I'm in a phase where I don't really know if I want to continue doing them or not I really enjoy making them and you seem to enjoy watching them so I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep up with them, but if you guys, if I can see that a lot of you guys are actually generally interested in me continuing doing these planning videos, then I will. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I don't know what to say. I'm just so thankful for the community that we have on here and it's a bit overwhelming, but in a good way to see all of you guys. <laughs> commenting on my videos and sending me positive messages and all the support. I really never expected it to be like that and I feel very thankful for every single one of you who is here and I just wanted to tell you that because I feel like often we get caught up in just doing stuff and keeping up with the videos and just focus 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 without never really stopping for a second and be like okay this is really how I feel right now and I just wanted to let you know, so yeah, thank you, and that's all I wanted to say, I think. I think that's it. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.